down 15.3 is a descending ladder of handstand push-ups and snatches for time. The men's weight for this workout is 70 kilograms and the women's weight is 45. At the call of 3 to one go, the athlete kicks up against the wall and performs 10 handstand push-ups followed by 10 snatches. The athlete then performs 9 handstand push-ups and 9 snatches. Each set of the couplet decreases by one repetition per round. The workout is completed after a total of 10 rounds when the athlete performs one handstand push-up and one snatch. The time cap for this workout is 15 minutes. For the handstand push-ups, the athlete starts in a standing position in front of the wall. The athlete must reach their hands above their head with elbows straight, shoulders extended, and thumbs touching. From here, mark the height of the wrists, then measure 10 centimeters down and create a line on the wall. Mark this line with permanent marker, chalk, or tape. If an ab mat and plates will be used in the workout, athletes must stand on their plates when establishing their foot line. At the bottom of each repetition, the athlete's head must make contact with the ground. The feet do not need to remain in contact with the wall for the entire movement, but must touch above the line at the beginning and end of every rep. If the athlete's feet do not move above the marked line, or if the elbows fail to lock out, those repetitions will not count. If the heels are not in contact with the wall at the top of the push-up, that's a no rep. Any repetition in which the athlete's head does not touch the floor will not count. If the ab mat level is above the level of the athlete's hands, those repetitions will not count. Kipping is allowed. For the snatch, the athlete will begin in front of a correctly loaded barbell. Athletes will then take the barbell from the floor to overhead in one continuous movement. The barbell must touch the floor between each rep. In the top position, the athlete's knees, hips, and elbows must achieve full lockout. The barbell must be above the midline of the body, and the athlete's body must be upright. Any style of snatch is allowed. In a split snatch, the athlete's feet must be brought together to complete the rep. Otherwise, the snatch will not count. If full lockout is not achieved in the top position, those snatches will not count. If the barbell is not over the midline, that rep will not be counted. If the barbell does not touch the floor at the beginning of a repetition, no rep. The athlete's final score will be the time needed to complete all the repetitions of handstand push-ups and snatches in the descending ladder. For Masters, Masters Plus, and all scaled options, be sure to review the workout details on germanthrowdown.de.